Hello everyone. Um, just want to do a quick video unboxing this uh, Tesla wall connector. Uh, a couple days ago, uh, well actually about a week already, my Tesla mobile connector um, that I've been using to charge and uh, yes I know I have gone cheap and um, um, I've never bought a wall connector uh, because I think it's expensive and I've been using my mobile connector for many years and finally it died um, it has flashing red light and it just doesn't work anymore so um, finally bought the uh, Tesla wall connector and um, uh, this one cost $500 directly from Tesla and it came in about a week uh, by FedEx and here we are so uh, this is what it looks like um, surprisingly there is no cover and it looks like it's kind of dirty I don't know why but all right um, let's see let's take it out of the box and see what else do we have in here package okay so basically it has um, the car charger the connector to the car but uh oh I don't see any connector that would allow me to connect it to the electricity but I think instead of like the mobile connector uh, I have to wire the electricity all the way to the inside of this unit directly so I have to open the back probably I think that's what it is so this one comes with the uh, 18 foot uh, cable and uh, let's see what's in here I think this is just the uh, the Tesla car connector I think let's open that yep this is the uh, regular Tesla connector that plugs into the car all right so that's that so that's the uh, main unit and let's see what it comes up with here huh interesting this was sitting at the bottom even though I think that should have been sitting on the top protecting that cover no wonder that was kind of dirty strange but um, another strange thing that I thought was kind of uh, weird was that this package was shipped um, this package was shipped just just as it is there is no shipping box nothing it just ships like so nothing else and uh, I thought that was kind of unprofessional because uh, I think this is kind of a nice box not a, not really a, a shipping box okay so this one comes with the quick start guide and it has the SSID and it has a sticker uh, that gives all the uh, SSID because this is a Wi-Fi connected device uh, or connectable device and it has some instruction of how to install it um, how to screw it in and attach the uh, electrical I think yeah attach the electrical 240 volts I hope I have a 240 volt ready and uh, has different LED indicator how to connect to um, the Wi-Fi yeah so pretty nice little guide and uh, this is a wall template I think yeah so you would uh, I think is this a sticker no it's not a sticker is it I think no it's not so this is just a cardboard that has these holes that uh, we can use to mount the uh, uh, the wall connector to but it doesn't come with any screws pretty strange let me see I thought I saw some screws huh according to this they're supposed to be maybe these components 
I don't have any bag. Yeah, uh, to to give any kind of indication that. Okay, pretty strange. Maybe it's inside. I don't know. Yeah, I, your things, your things rattling. So let me open this part and see what's inside. Okay, this was not in the instruction, but basically uh, it came with a handle like this. Um, came with a handle that is uh, attached like this. And since there's nothing in the instruction that tells you how to open this back side, I just assumed that you pulled it and I was right. So once you pulled it, it comes out like this and it has the backs of screws with the accessories here and it has this um, backside unit that I think is exactly the same as uh, this screw hole yeah so depending on where you're gonna get the cable into mine is gonna be coming from the top so um, I'm gonna pop this uh, top part out and I am going to feed in my cables in here um, L1, L2 or neutral and then the ground um, yeah and uh, we'll see um, what happens okay so I forgot to describe uh, what is inside this bag? So I got two um, Looks like a hex Allen screw Not sure if that's a special screw or not um, I got the small tie wrap and Looks like uh, some kind of uh, Allen screws also there's four of them. I don't know what these are for so and I have a, oh, I hope I don't lose this. This is some kind of proprietary head. Not sure this is to screw this in. Yep, it's, it's to screw this, to screw all of these screws in. It, it requires this special um, drill bit, or I'm sorry, not drill bit, a uh, screw bit. Okay, so this is really important not to lose so what i'm going to do is probably just going to put this in the bag and i usually would tape it to the charger itself so it doesn't get lost um all right well that's pretty much the unboxing i guess i'm just going to continue on with the uh, actual install of the product um so the first thing that we do is uh mine's going to be a top entry um i am going to Put this on the wall and figure out um, the screws I guess uh, there's only two screws so I guess I'm gonna try to hit the studs at the wall with these two screws as much as possible and yeah this is kind of confusing because I mean for such a large device I guess I can screw it in in the middle here um, but why only two screws yeah anyhow basically we just need to make sure that this gets attached on the wall and then put the cable through um, I don't know how to secure the cable yet. There seems to be these, uh, the cable goes through here, but I don't know exactly how to tighten them. Supposedly some kind of screw head goes in here and tighten them. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. You have to use this screw heads too in order for you to tighten those. So if you lose this, you're dead. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely nothing you can do if you lose this right here. Um, okay, I understand now how this is gonna go. Um, so let's go to the wall, figure out this thing here, and uh, let's go from there. Okay, um, just wanna show you what um, I wired together here. This is a connector that connects to a, um, let me show you this connector here. I think this is called the NEMA 1450P, uh, which connects to this uh, bracket for the wall connector. This is the back side of it. And the strange things about this is that it doesn't use the neutral. So only the, uh, the red, the black, and the ground uh, are actually wired. And this is using a super thick SOOW cable rated at uh, 80 amp. Um, should be enough for this particular um, wall connector for any charging purposes. Um, meaning however much this is going to load or draw the power this these cables are should be good enough to uh, to handle um yeah so let me show you how i'm gonna hook this up this is the connector that i'm using right now to uh, plug my mobile connector uh which is where did i put that thing which is over there um yeah, so my mobile connector used to plug in right here. Let me show you. Yeah, my mobile connector used to plug in right here. And right now it's not really, it's not working. It's, the, it's defective. That's why I bought the uh, new wall connector. Um, so I'm going to remove the uh, mobile connector. And I'm also going to remove the um, this bracket that I bought on eBay and this 3D printed. Uh, uh, what do you call it a uh, plug holder i'm gonna remove those plug in the uh my new wall connector uh up to here and see how that works out okay i got the um, wall mount bracket here mounted i just put two screws in i didn't use the uh, tesla uh, screw because it wasn't sharp enough to penetrate through um, the plastic without drilling and uh, so I just use drywall screw. It works perfectly. And up here, I got it plugged into my uh, NEMA connector. And uh, this is good for up to, um, I believe, 60 amp. And uh, we're ready to go. Um, so I just need to put in this um, actual unit that goes directly uh, in front of it and put four screws that came with it. Um, and we should be good to go Okay um, I got the uh, wall connector turned on and uh, According to the manual the next thing that you want to do is uh, look at the uh, This uh, user guide uh, on the first page of the user guide there is a sticker that looks like this That's what mine looks like uh, and it has a uh, OCR code that gives you the uh, um, the password um, and the Wi-Fi pass uh, Wi-Fi SSID and password for the wall connector. So that will get your um, wall connector connected uh, on your phone. That looks like this, and from here uh, you can just configure Wi-Fi and then pick the uh, Wi-Fi that you want to connect to. And this is the one that I want to connect to and enter your password here. Since Tesla decided to use the uh, proprietary um, screw bit here, I want to make sure I don't lose it. So what I do is uh, make a um, double sided tape using duct tape and I will just tape it here on the side of it. Um, right there, there is no sticker there. There's some sticker here, but 
yeah there's no sticker here so i'll just stick it here to make sure that this stays here and next time i need it it's going to be right there by the way i just want to point out that um, this sticker here on the left side also have the uh, ocr code that you need along with your um, ssid and the wpa uh, password so in case you lose your pamphlet you can still find all this information right here okay so i got it plugged into my tesla and it is currently charging uh, the light is blinking green which means it's charging and uh, currently uh, there is a running light that's going through and uh, that usually means that it's charging and it uh, looks like everything is working perfectly um let me see yep so i just want to show you that uh, at my tesla app it is showing that it's charging um currently uh, my model s is only have 66 mile and it's charging at four miles per hour that's because I have the car uh, actually set to a very slow trickle charge at five, um, five amp out of 40. But actually you can go much, much faster. You can go all the way, all the way up to 40 amp. So anyhow, um, so this is uh, working and uh, I'm glad that I can uh, finally charge my Tesla at home again instead of uh, going to the supercharger. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is a video uh, for installing and uh, using the uh, wall connector. And um, yeah, so I really like this wall connector. Um, I think the, um, the process of the install was kind of uh, tricky because it, there was not a lot of information on the uh, pamphlet. And, uh, but other than that, um, I think it's, uh, it's a pretty nice looking product. Uh, hopefully it lasts. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscriber. Uh, hopefully uh, within a, about a month from making this video, hopefully I reach that. Uh, if you would like to help me, please subscribe to my channel. And um, uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself.